So for today, we're going to be looking at the Gambit variant for the Titans. If you guys don't know, this is the playlist armor. If you guys also don't know, I've already done the review armor and the shader video. They're both right here and the hunter video as well. So definitely check those videos out. The review video, we go through how it looks, how it shaders and my personal thoughts. The shader video is literally just looking at all the shaders. And then the hunter video, we're going to be, well, we're going to be doing what we did in that video, which is get individual pieces from this set and then making individual sets from those pieces. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help a lot. But other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet for the Gambit uh, playlist piece. For the exotic, we're going to be using the Lordly Homage Ornament for the Doomfang Pauldrons. For the chest piece, TM Cogburn Custom Plate is a piece I like to combine with the Ancient Apocalypse Greaves. I think these two just go well together, like, amazingly well. And then, obviously, the cloak is, or the mark, I should say, is the Gambit variant as well. So, I actually really like this set. Um, I honestly do think the Stalwart Tenant is pretty good with it. That being said, if you were to ask me, like what piece I would end up switching out, it would honestly be the helmet. I think the helmet would just be switched out for the Vanguard variant because I'm pretty sure the Vanguard variant doesn't take the orange as hard as this one does. So that's the only piece I would switch out just because I'm not the biggest fan of how the orange looks for the helmet, but everything else looks really, really cool. And honestly, the reason I am using Star Wars Tenant is because the horns on the Lordly Homage, specifically like the, the beginning of the horn, the orange does not change color. So that's why I'm using that. So let me know what you guys think about this set. As for the next set, we're going to be utilizing the Actium War Rig with the Grants Vicksburg ornament. And then the actual piece, we're going to be using the arms. So for the helmet, Eidolon Pursuant Helm. For the boots, Deep Explorer Greaves. And then for the Mark, Intrepid Exploit Mark. For the shader, Gamekeeper is what we're using just because I really like the shader. So I really like the set. Definitely a more tactical vibe. I will say Deep Explorer Greaves is probably not the best use for this just because it's a little too mm, angular, I guess you would say, because everything else has more of a rounded shape. So I think the Specifically, like, I think the thigh armor, I think, just is not good for this. So I would definitely switch it out for something that is better with more of a rounded shaped armor. So I think that's the only, like, critique I have for this armor because I think the arms go really well with the chest piece and the helmet goes really well with everything else because, again, it is rounded and it is going for that tactical look. I think the mark also is really cool because not only do you have a holster on one side, but you also have a grenade, which also makes it more tactical so i really like this set would it be my favorite probably if it wasn't for the chest piece which let's just get into it chest piece is going to be used for this one and for the exotic we're going to be using the reticule lock for the abeyant leap this is a combo i've done previously specifically uh with the biosphere explorer gauntlets and the reticule lock um, this one's just a, a lot different actually because we're utilizing a different chest piece helmet and I think bond if I remember correctly So n7 helm for this one for the arm spiral sphere explorer gauntlets Like I said and then for the mark tm cogborn custom mark So I really like this set. It's probably my favorite from the whole sets that I've made just because it's hitting that mark of like making sure Biosphere Explorer gauntlets has a shader that goes well with it Which is the Atlantis wash the Atlantis wash Atlantis wash is really good for this because it's the same yellow as that bone color now what I wish that we lived in a perfect world where the bone color can be changed or you could change it change it or not change it or change it to different colors yeah I would love that but we don't live in that world so I really like this set I think it's my favorite just because it is really really cool I will say the males look a little bit more scary for this set but I the females don't look bad at all by any means I think they still still look really really cool um i think the piece that surprised me the most honestly is the n7 helm like i didn't think i was gonna like it this much i do think i use it um in the next set i think if i remember correctly but yeah overall definitely my favorite let me know what you guys think. as for the next set i guess i got the n7 mixed up because it, we're using the gauntlets for this one but for the exotic we're gonna be using the hazardous propulsion and then for the actual piece from the set we're gonna be using the boots so Wildwood Helm is what we're going to be using and then the Lux Mark for the Mark, obviously the N7 Gauntlets, like I said. So this one is much more of a, I don't know how to explain this one. It's not bad at all. Like, honestly, the only thing I would think about switching out would be the helmet and then switching the helmet that has more of an off color because the chest piece and the boots are using the main, the off color. So I think the helmet using an, an off color as well would be a little bit uh, better. 
Either way, I really like the set for the shader. Iron to Steel is legitimately one of my favorite shaders in the game. If you want to get this shader, you can get it from Iron Banner. I think it's still dropping from Iron Banner, but it's such a dope shader. It's legitimately my favorite shader and it turns off glows as well, which if you guys don't know, N7 Gauntlets does have a glow on the right side of the arm as the, the multi-tool. Um, so it's a hologram. Um, so yeah, if you want to turn that off, just Iron to Steel is a great shader, but a lot of the older D D2 vanilla shaders also turn off glows, most of them. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the third one is my favorite. Um, the second and fourth, I think are really cool. Honestly, the first one is, it's not bad. It's just, <clears throat> I think the helmet is pretty ter terrible in my opinion, but it's definitely more of a Shax vibes than anything else. And the second and or the yeah, the second and fourth third one, I think are just like more of a like that's that's something I would do. This that's more more much more of a me vibe. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Remember, like comment really does help. Um, I am working on a bunch of content for y'all. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not messing around. I'm currently trying to get at least two weeks of content out so that way I can start ma making other content, specifically my second channel, because I want to play a bunch of stuff. I still haven't played Wukong Dog, so yeah, I'm currently trying to bust out a lot of content so that way I can give myself a week of just playing other games. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later. <clears throat>